There's a real sense of history in this city when it comes to fashion. All the main couture houses are based here. There's some incredible designers, and I feel like it's a real cultivation of the best of the best. Hi, I'm Lindsay Alexander. Welcome to Paris Fashion Week. My profession, if you can call it a profession, feels more like fun. I'm a makeup artist. There are many challenges during Fashion Week, but I think the biggest one for me is having an idea in your head of how you want something to look and then executing it 50 ways. So you've got 50 different eye shapes, you've got 50 different skin tones. It's my job as a makeup artist to really capture the feeling as a whole. So I never like the idea of people being clones. I'm all about individuality and I love to enhance people's quirks and one girl might need something different to the other girl, but you have to be able to look at it and know that they're part of the same gang and that can be a challenge. There's a lot of preparation into a runway show. It's about that interaction, seeing the clothes, having an understanding and a feeling for what the designer wants to convey, listening to the music, having a look at the casting, and it's a real team collaboration to really bring to life their vision. The atmosphere backstage is one of absolute pandemonium. It is chaos. You've got people running around looking for shoes. You've got models that are missing and haven't even turned up yet. And they might turn up with glitter from the last show and you've got about 20 seconds to get it off and get your look on. You've got casting directors screaming to try and get some kind of order into a line. A backstage environment is one to really push your creative skills. It should never be safe. You should always kind of go that extra mile to make it the best it can be. Trends are a funny thing. I tend not to look too much at, at what's happening because I find it can influence you too much. I tend to work quite freely and be inspired with what I'm seeing on that day with that designer. These are my essentials when I'm backstage. Um, we keep a list of every designer that we work with and we make a note of what show it is, what season it is, the inspiration, the products that we've used. My other can't live without item that I lug around the world with me is probably my makeup light. We often find ourselves cramped into the tiniest of spaces. I've done makeup in the Moulin Rouge toilets before at a show. That's not very glamorous. And I find that, you know, the biggest challenge is light. So I always bring with me a little glam core and it folds down to about this size, but it gives me really amazing um, LED natural daylight. Beauty looks change season to season, as we know. I'm a big believer in no matter what season it is that skin has to take number one focus. I love, personally, nothing more than a really dewy, wet, glossy skin. I think it looks really modern and timeless. It kind of allows you to use a lot of makeup, but not in a heavy way. So there's something quite magical and iridescent about it in the light. One of my favorite places for uh, breakfast or lunch is the Rose Bakery. Three Fashion Week Essentials. One, a motor taxi, so you can zip around the city really quick. Two, a brilliant assistant. I couldn't live without mine, and she's also a great friend, so that helps, because traveling a lot can get lonely. And three, endless amounts of champagne. 